Okay. Um, this is kind of a YouTube I have not done before, but I really want to do it for a long time actually, because I want to flex. Uh, I want to show you guys how many cameras that I have. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the reason of this video. I figured I'd do this video before I start selling stuff because I'm actually starting to clean up now. Uh, because I uh, do have a problem and I'm not afraid to admit it. So um, yeah, here, this is some film. This is my second fridge, 16, eight. A lot of uh, um, expired film that I love to shoot. Um, bunch of tripods for whatever occasions that I've been um, collecting. <laughs> Glycam, I love this Glycam more than anything. This Glycam, one of the uh, most trusted items that I have in this collection, probably ever. And I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at the Ronins and you know, all that shit, but Glycams, Glycams. Um, I got some 16s. I have uh, a Bolex, um, this is not a reflex, so I can't really look through the viewfinder in the, in the right way, kind of sucks, but I have my real one, this is uh, a Rex 2, and I have a Rex 3 in the States, that I love, a couple of lenses, and the holy grail, it's actually a wide angle, and I love this wide angle so much. Um, how do you say the name? I got a Ang Angeneux. I never can say the name on this, but um, yeah, it's a 1.8 wide angle. I filmed so much, and that this cost me way too much. I have a Canon Scopic. I actually shot my first roll on uh, now, so it's gonna be very interesting. It's one of the only cameras, or the only 16 I have actually, that is uh, have a electronic motor, so I can actually run through a whole roll. Um, you know, it's really handy to have. And it, the, uh, I don't know, the lens is kind of like, not really that great. So, it's gonna be interesting to see how that turned out. But, I have the K K3, the Russian. The Russian bad boy and the lens and the optics and this is like incredible um, really happy with this actually it's just like a fucking tank for uh, a bunch of handy cams uh, I don't know I bought these for just to fuck with but some of them doesn't work a Polaroid can't remember what it's called uh, four by fives 8 by 10s and oh shit. um got the Graflex got the rangefinder 4 by 5 and this is a really interesting camera actually um that I have not used too much <laughs> definitely one of the um, cameras that I have not ever used actually I just really wanted it uh, because I like the idea of shooting like 4x5 on trips and stuff, but I have not done that. Um, the speed graphic, and it's a, it's a splendid, um, splendid uh, item that I found on eBay. The 8x10, I really, really like this camera. Got the Technica front. Uh, I'm not sure if the body is called something else. Uh, got the Cambo. The Cambo one is is amazing. This 4x5 is just like have the prism finder, have the rotating, everything works. Like this, I basically just shoot this on like one lens. It's the 135, yeah, 135. Ugh. So, don't have too many lenses on these ones. I only shoot them like for very specific stuff so uh the bauer one of my first ones really like this one the bauer s 
407XL. Um, the cannons are also very trusted. I really like these. Um, just always works. But these ones, the Nizos. 801, what's it called? Macro. Yeah. It's both a macro, I guess. Um, I really like this one. I really, really like this one. These are actually the ones that I've been using the most. Uh, I like the the lens on it, and it just looks like 16 almost sometimes when you shoot like a 50D on them in like good light. Um, very solid. Uh, but this one kind of looks like 16 as well, if you use it right. Uh, this is incredible. Uh, the 400 ZM2. Uh, the Baolei. I don't know if I say these names the right way. I feel like I should, but yeah. It's a very spe special Super 8. I mean, as you can see, the, the lens is incredible. The Bauer C107. Um, these ones I have shot a bunch of tours with, just kind of like in between the sizing, kind of comes in handy and they can shoot uh, slow-mo 36. They can, these can shoot 54 actually. And then uh, this one, of course, you know, <laughs> never used. Um, I actually used it once, actually but having some trouble with it actually. It's too much, uh, too much buttons for me. Um, but if I don't want to shoot that DV, I have these ones, the trusted DVs, I have the Canons, the Panasonics, I have a bunch of different stuff. DV, VHS, DV, DV. And then HDD, these ones shoot a lot of I'm trying to look into it. It doesn't even have a viewfinder. Um, the digital way of shooting tape, which is nice. Oh, this is actually, if you look into a Super 8, the Canon 310 XL is super handy. It looks like a Lana Del Rey video, everything you shoot. Uh, this one is a Polaroid uh, passport photo, actually or camera. It does not work yet. I tried, I got a new um, wire for it. So maybe it works, but it shoots um, four photos at the same time or like, and then you get in like Polaroid's free passport. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Um, bunch of point and shoot. Oh, fuck. Got a little splint. Um, Bunch of point and shoots, just different feels. Uh, whatever you feel like. My trusted one is the Yushika T4. I don't have it here. I always have it in my side pouches of it. Um, and then the Contax 3 T3 I actually sold. Great cameras, but just way overpriced. So I figured I'd sell it. Uh, oh, my dad's VHS. I filmed a lot on when I was younger. I kept it and it still works perfectly. Um, the handy cams, the skate cams, these are actually sick. The center fish eyes, just like a classic, classic way of shooting. I mean, it's actually a little fucked up. This one is so dope. This one is, uh, what is this called again? Can't remember the model name actually. This is dope. 35 millimeters. The Contax 167 MT is really good. Um, actually gonna sell it. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff I can try to sell here, but this is a really good one. Uh, kind of like electronic. Um, you have a lot of different uh, ways of shooting on it. Uh, so you don't have to really like think yourself kind of thing. It's the same as uh, the kind of like the old Canons, 650. This is actually my dad, my old, um, my dad's as well. Uh, takes EF glass. Um, my personal favorite F1, I've shot so much on this shit. 
Um, I love this camera. I have another one that is on service right now with the winder uh, and the 70, uh, T70, sorry. Lenses, my favorite one is maybe like a 28 that I shoot the most on and maybe, yeah, 28 probably. I like the, like the documentary style of it. And then my favorite camera, maybe, my new favorite camera, my 645. <laughs> Six, four, five. Why I have so many, I don't know. Or I do know because I have a problem, but I got them like kind of cheap, you know? And I figured like they're better off with me than somebody else, with somebody else. Do I have a preferred one? Yeah, the Pro TL. I shot uh, Pro TL. Uh, Pro T. ProTL, ProTL, Pro, uh, Super, Super, 1000 S. This is the older one. This is a great like first kind of medium format camera. It shoots 6.5. So it's kind of like half of a 6.7. Um, so you get 50, 15 frames uh, instead of 10 when you get like shoot like 6.7 and stuff. But yeah, I do like the ProTL the most. The Super, I started shooting with now. I might switch it, but yeah, I have, I like keep one for like Norway and one from the States and stuff, so I don't have to like change around. Ain't no front shit, you know? This shit goes all the way to the back. There ain't no front shit. Exactly, I stay stocked with the shit. I have lenses, a bunch of backs, winders, backs, lenses, you know what I mean? And the tilt shift, this is a sick one, the 50 tilt shift, check that out. Um, moving on, GoPros, GoPro Max, shot a bunch of 3D stuff with this one, really like this one, I have the GoPro 9, I don't have the 10 yet, but the 9 has been doing a great fucking work, it's a great camera. I didn't really shoot with it before, the GoPros, but now it's like so good that I can use it for anything. Uh, some lights, different like lights. It's good to have my old uh, Mamiya uh, Sector. Uh, what is it called? Thousand? Yeah, Thousand DTL. My old, my dad's old camera as well. Flashes, and then my main setup for the digital. Um, <laughs> forgot what it's called. A seven R three. <laughs> I shot with this camera insanely much, like insanely amount of exposures and it's still holding up. Um, I do look at it like some Canons, but I don't know if I got to switch. That's more like for the lenses because I'm like shooting like black magic and stuff like that. So maybe I can like use the lenses like this, but yeah, 1635, 7200, fisheye, 35, 85. Great 4K video camera from Sony, handy cam. I use this for like a lot of vlog stuff, just to like document, put a shotgun mic on this and you Gucci. Um, Mamiya RZ. Again, I had like six of these at some point. You only need one of these. This is uh, probably, other than the 645, this one I shot so much with, it's insane. Um, the 6.7 format in general is just incredible. Um, so you should really look at that uh, if you're looking into a 6.4 or 6.7. But the RB67, not the RZ, um, is a really good alternative. I started with this one. I had, again, I had like, like five of these at some point and I had a lot of problems with them actually. I don't know if you guys had, but it's a like, it's a tank, but I don't know. It just kept on kind of like there was something fucking up. And I heard that I can use RB lenses on RC, but that's a lie. You shouldn't do that because these lenses and the shutter that is in the lens, it's not fast enough for the RZ. Um, I don't know, prove me wrong, but I fucked up a RC body or actually two or at least one doing that. Then I have the 
digital plate for the RZ so I can put my face one. I don't know where my face one. Yeah, I'm scanning with it. Um, the face one on the RZ as well. So it's like a hybrid. And that's actually been like a big thing. I've been trying to find the perfect camera, but there's no such thing as a perfect camera, apparently. So I tried to like find like a camera. I can use like the same lenses for like a converter there and then converter there so I can only have one set of lenses and one digital back and like I had the uh, Mamiya AF D uh, 645 that I deeply regret selling actually it was one of the few cameras that I've been selling and I regret it now so uh, because uh, then I can use the same lenses with autofocus as my face one on the Mamiya 645. Anyways, there's a lot of hybrids, um, but like, don't try to find the perfect camera. It's, it's no, no such thing. And then I'm just like kind of cleaning up um, AE-1, F1, Canons, great beginner cameras, Super 8s, um, another Super 8, the Bolex Super 8, Crown 8, right? Yeah, can't get film for it. Uh, I think that's it. I didn't show the, oh wait, wait one, one second. So my, kind of my holy grail, something that I never thought I would own, is the Phase 1 actually. I got a Phase 1 IQ 140 first. Uh, it was nice, not like crazy nice, but it was nice. And then I tried that out and then I figured like, I really like it. So I got an IQ 280. Um, 80 megapixels. I have the like the regular DF uh, plus body. This is actually a marker lens that I use to like scan negatives. Um, it's really nice. Uh, I can maybe go through the dark room somewhere like sometime else. Comment and like, I guess that's what you say, right? Below. Maybe I'll do that. Um, do that in a different video, but yeah, the face one definitely. Uh, holy grail in this collection it's not really in my collection because i do use maybe like at least 50 percent of this at some point but of course some get used way more so yeah thank you for watching um i feel like a fucking rapper in my you know this is my lambos you know what i mean but uh yeah i'm gonna sell some stuff now so next video hopefully i'll like just show the shit that I use, maybe. Well, we'll see.